Hi guys, um, sorry I haven't put any videos up for a while but I've been pretty busy in my uh, day job. Uh, bills have to be paid so that's the reality of life. Um, but anyway I have a few days off so a friend on Facebook's trying to make a uh, superhero cape. Um, so I'd like to just make a video for him and uh, anyone else that needs a helping hand in that direction so I've never made one but uh, I think we'll um, have a crack at it so I'd probably start off with say maybe even a cube 3d let's go make polymesh 3d uh, we can go to say Z modeler and we'll just um, hold alt fill these in so Normally you'd have symmetry on, make it a bit quicker. Hold the space bar and go say polygroup. There's our new polygroup and then we'll just hold control and shift and tap. Then go delete hidden. You'll find that under modify geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. Um, so you can go like that. So now we've got basically Let's turn on double, a plane. So what we can do is two things. Probably there's probably you know like with the Z brush, there's a hundred different ways of doing things. So we could go say with the Z modeler and just go with our edge and go move. Say move by brush radius. Increase our brush size and just start grabbing edges. You know, that's not too bad, but you sort of lose a bit of control. You know, so there you can sort of make your folds, but uh, probably do it by, um, let's say, move infinite radius. That will move the whole edge. Oop. Head on an angle. That'll pull out the whole edge and then you could just sort of smooth that end off a bit to taper it back down. Or you can go auto radius, come down the bottom here. And if you do it down the bottom, it's going to taper off at the top because it's concentrating on where the brush is. That's another way of doing it. Then you'd just come in and you'd go... Q mesh all polygons, add some thickness, you know, and then uh, obviously you'd move your use your move brush to taper your top ends in, or you can do that in a different way as well. You could go to settings. Uh, it's probably going to yell at me if I've still got um, symmetry on, but you could go taper. Taper, let's say this end, okay. so sort of tapering that in. Go to accept, come back to draw mode. Shortcut for that's the key, key Q, Q key, sorry, and then hit the D key, that'll give you a dynamic subdivision preview, like so. So you want a shift E to come out of sub dynamic, come back into Z modeler and just Pull these out a bit more. Right. Hit your D key again. That gives you more of a uh, pronounced fold type thing. <clears throat> and then you can come into, say, your snake hook brush. Shift D to come out of that. And then just sort of, we'll go with symmetry. And just sort of bend these ends in. Give that a bit of a curve there. Bend them out and over. Come back, hit dynamic. Squish it in a bit. There's your cape. That's basically uh, the basis of a cape anyway, so... You know, from there you could either dynamesh it and add more details to it and then uh, re 
Z remesh it again and work your way back up. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can go about making a cape. But um, that's pretty much a basic version. A couple of different styles. You've got your snake brush, your move, your Z modeler. Um, I mean, you could always go, say, to Dynamesh. We'll up the resolution a bit. That gives us that. Uh, let's just go back and see. We'll go under here and go Dynamesh. Turn on Polish. Hmm. Smooth that out a bit. No, hang on. I know what we're doing wrong. Because we're on dynamic, so we want to go back to our normal subdivision levels, get off on get off of dynamic preview, then control D shortcut to actually subdivide the geometry. Now we can go to uh up our resolution on Dynamesh. Probably a bit low, we want a bit more resolution. Uh, hang on, delete lower up our Dynamis resolution. There, right. So now you got that. Give it a smooth. Alt 7 is uh, smooth stronger. You'll find that in your light box under brushes. Uh, smooth brushes in here somewhere. Don't ask me where as I have hundreds of folders of brushes you name it i pretty much have a brush for everything all right so lots of brushes so give that a smooth you probably even drop your resolution a bit i dropped it down now give it a quick smooth come in say with a cloth brush Turn off symmetry, you don't want it all the same. That'll just sort of pronounce them up a bit. Smooth them off. And uh, you can come in here and go in behind it. Right. Well, that's just a basic idea of how to do a, you know, the basic fundamentals of creating a cape, how to create the different grooves and whatnot. There's a few different methods. You know, you'd obviously want to come in here later if you wanted to add, you know, bits in here and to pinch it off a bit and all of that sort of jazz to make it look a lot more detailed and what have you but i hope that helps anyone out that needs to uh know how to build a cape and uh yeah if you uh, want to see anything else um or need help with anything for zbrush just leave a uh, comment down down below the video and um, i'll try and get that made for you all right guys take it easy and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye for now